Now we're going to see the troubleshooting for a thermostatic trap. Usually used on tracer lines as traps or as air vents. In a thermostatic trap, again, there are two types of failures. One is an open failure where the trap is leaking continuously. And the other is a closed failure where the trap is not discharging at all. To check for open failure, isolate the trap. Open the fasteners using the right spanner. Once the cap is removed, disengage the locking clip from the assembly. Check for any kind of foreign particle deposition on the seat as well as the thermo pod. If so, clean the surface with cotton. Check for any minor scratches on the seat as well as the ball. Reassemble the thermopod assembly. This is how you troubleshoot the open failure in a thermostatic trap. For a closed failure, check whether the inbuilt screen is choked. If choked, dismantle the assembly from the body and remove the screen. Clean the screen with wire brush and kerosene. Check the screen in a source of light for any kind of blockage. Once it is clean, reassemble the assembly. Check whether the gasket, body and cover gasket is intact and not damaged. While assembling the thermopod, ensure that the thermopod is moving freely inside the cup. Once assembled, refit the top cover. The tightening should be done in a diagonally opposite direction. If the trap is failed in a closed loop or a closed failure has been reported, check whether the traps are installed or exposed to superheated steam. In case it is exposed to superheated steam, the capsule will expand permanently and the trap remains closed. This is how one troubleshoots a thermostatic trap.